to create a new sequence, select File New. ElectroPro software has four tabs, Creation, Configuration, View Graph, and View Sheet. So first, in the Creation window, select Line for the 2D acquisition. Electrodes will be located along the X coordinate. Then press Next. In the X width spacing, you enter the spacing between the electrodes in the field, so 5 meters in that example. And the X width size, this is the number of electrodes, so 48 in that case. It can be 72, 96, or other, depending on your system. The X width offset, this is the position of the first electrode, so 0 meters by default. Let automatic grid validate it for a standard array and click on create grid. Electrodes will be located along X and Y, Y equals 0 by default, and electrode 1 is located in 0 meters, and electrode 48 is located in 235 meters. So first electrode 1, last electrode 48. After that, you can click on Configuration tab. In the Configuration window, we're going to define first the timing parameters. First of all, enter a name for the sequence that will be stored into the unit. And select the electrode array. You can see that there is the pole dipole forward and pole dipole reverse. As the pole dipole is an asymmetrical array, it can be interesting to combine both before doing an interpretation. Pole dipole forward first. You can see that the remote pole for the injection will be plugged into the A socket of the front panel. And you can see the infinite distance defined for this electrode. Number of channels. You can enter 2 for the junior R1 plus and R2 and 10 for the Syscal Pro. Keep 10 for this example. Choose row for resistivity and 500 milliseconds for the injection timing. This window is relative to the quality control parameters. 1 for the Q, 3 for the stack min and 6 for the stack max. It means that if the Q value is better than 1%, 3 stacks will be measured. If not, the measurement will run up to 6 stacks. This window is relative to the voltage. We can use the by default value, which is 50 mV for the VP. It means that the unit will try to inject any voltage to receive 50 mV. And we keep maximum 800 volt for the VAB. This window is relative to the depth level, so we're going to define the different spacing and the different levels for each spacing. The spacing means dipole length. So we're going to define six levels in that example for each spacing. And increasing the spacing allows to get a better signal-to-noise ratio. So we're going to define six levels for so 1A, 2A, 3A, and so on, up to the maximum, which is in that case 8A. So this is the max investigation test. And we keep 10 for the number of channels corresponding to the pro, and we keep the three options validated for the optimization process. Click on Create Standard Sequence. It gives information about the sequence and you can have an idea about the acquisition time estimated. Click on OK. Enter a name for the sequence that will be stored in the PC. So it can be the same name that in the Syscal. Press Save. And then you can click on View Graph. In the view graph window, we can visualize the report point of the sequence along the profile, X coordinate, and along the Z investigation test. Different colors correspond to the different spacing that have been programmed in the sequence, so 1A, 2A, 3A, and so on. The black circles correspond to the gap filler quadruples. These are the quadruples that have been added for the optimization process. In the status bar, you can visualize the maximum investigation that's estimated that will be reached by the sequence, the number of measurements, so about 1,200, and you can also have an idea about the acquisition time estimated. Then, after that, you can click on View Sheet. In the View Sheet window, we can visualize the position of the electrodes in the left part, so electrode 1 to 48. So there are coordinates in X, Y, and Z. So X coordinates along the profile, Y equals 0 by default, and Z 
equal zero and note that the topography can be entered after data download. The right part shows the quadruples that will be measured in the sequence. So you can visualize for each point the A, B, M and electrode that will be used. A is equal zero all along the sequence as this is the remote pole plugged directly into the front panel of the unit. You can visualize the geometrical factor, which is computed for each quadripulse, and you can also have an idea about the estimated depth that will be reached for each quadripulse. Those windows can be printed or can be exported as CSV files. Then, to upload the sequence into the unit, validate the sequence, select File Communication Port USB, and then select File Upload. You will get a message showing you that you need to select the right menu in the unit, press OK, and then connect the USB link between the syscall and the PC.